We've talked for a long time on this channel about how to save money on your TV expenses by using an antenna to get your local channels. And unless you live in an area where antenna reception is not possible or reliable, this is still the best way to get your locals. But one of the downsides to using an over-the-air antenna is that you have to switch inputs to watch local TV. Pairing an Air TV 2 device with a Sling subscription eliminates the need to switch to a separate input because it puts your locals right in the Sling channel guide within the Sling app. This is a convenient way to get your locals if you don't need a premium service, or if you were using a Fire Recast device to incorporate local channels into your Fire TV homepage, since Sling is one of the live TV sources you can integrate into the guide function on the Fire TV homepage, an Air TV device gives you a workaround for getting locals back in the Fire TV home screen. Yeah, that is a nice convenience. In this video, we'll show you how to use an Air TV 2 device and an over-the-air antenna to watch local channels on Sling. If you want to see more about Sling plans, prices, and features, watch our Sling review video. While this video is specific to an Air TV 2 review, an Air TV Anywhere or an Air TV device will work the same basic way. We'll show you how to set up an Air TV 2 device, connect it to an antenna, and how to connect it to your Sling account so that you can start watching locals within the Sling app. Let's start with an Air TV 2. What is it and how does it work? Unlike an Air TV Mini, which is a streaming media device, an Air TV 2 is an over-the-air DVR. When you connect an antenna to it, the device connects to your Wi-Fi network to broadcast your local channels, which the antenna picks up from your nearest broadcast tower, and sends them to any streaming device, like an Air TV Mini, Roku Stick, or Fire Stick, mobile device, or tablet running the Sling app. As Air TV says, this means one antenna will power every internet-connected TV and device in and outside of your home through the Sling app. No more messy cables. Yeah, and note that you can watch local channels on one stream at a time outside of your home network. But you can do more than just watch locals with an Air TV too. You can record local programs as well. It has two tuners, which means you can record up to two shows at once, or you can watch one show live and record another. And any content you record shows up next to Sling's Cloud DVR tab in the Sling app. You can pause, rewind, or fast forward through recorded content. And a paid Sling subscription is not required. We confirmed with Sling customer service that you can use this with a free Sling account, which is great. While Sling doesn't make Air TV devices, it regularly offers deals on them when you sign up for a paid Sling plan. It's not uncommon to get an Air TV device free through Sling when you pay up front for a month or two of Sling. While the Air TV 2 device retails for $85 to $100, we got ours along with an antenna for $49 through a Sling deal. Okay, let's take a closer look at the Air TV 2. It has 512 megabytes of memory, a USB 2.0 port, an Ethernet port, a coaxial input for your antenna cable, and an AC power adapter. It measures 7 by 2 by 4 inches and weighs 2 pounds, so it's not a big clunky device. Now if we go look at the back of the device, there's a reset button, which is a very small hole to the right of the power input. If you need to reset the device, you can use the end of a paper clip pressed into this hole here. On the front you'll see two green lights, one at the bottom when it's plugged in to show the power is on, and one above it showing it is connected to your Wi-Fi network. And at the top, a third green light when you've connected an external hard drive to record content. The device will work without one, though you won't be able to record channels. All right, let's look at how to set up an Air TV 2 DVR. There's a very helpful, simple setup guide included. The first thing you want to do is set up your antenna by putting it in the best location in your home to receive your broadcast signal. Any antenna will do. It does not have to be Sling's included one. You can watch our Mohu Leaf Antenna Review for step-by-step -step instructions on setting up an antenna in your home. It's easy and it only takes about five minutes. Once your antenna is in place, connect the coaxial cable into the back of the Air TV 2 device. Next, connect your Air TV 2 to the internet via an Ethernet cable or Wi-Fi. If you choose Wi-Fi, you'll need to follow instructions through the Sling app. Open the Sling app on a smartphone or tablet. Click the settings wheel in the top right corner. Click Local Channels from the menu, and then click Connected Device. Click the orange Set Up Air TV button, and select the device you're connecting. In our case, that's the Air TV 2. Then select which kind of antenna you're using. We'll select Indoor Antenna, name your device if you want, and enter your zip code. We already have our antenna set up, so we'll click Next. 
but if you didn't, you can follow these steps and use the link to find your nearest broadcast tower. As they note, your Air TV device and antenna do not need to be next to your TV. We put ours in our office next to our Wi-Fi router because we have a lot of windows there and get good reception. We've already connected our antenna to the Air TV 2, so we'll select Next. We're connecting using Wi-Fi, so we'll press that button, and we'll confirm our wireless network. Make sure your Air TV 2 mobile device or tablet and streaming device are connected to the same network. Then select Yes at the bottom right of the screen. Now plug your power cord into the Air TV 2 and plug the adapter into an outlet. Wait for the power light at the bottom front of the device to turn solid green. Look for the Wi-Fi light on the front to start blinking. It will bring up a message saying it found your Air TV 2 device and it will ask to connect. Select Connect. It will say connection successful and then it will scan for channels. Now we had trouble getting the channel scan to initiate on our phone, so we switched over to finishing the setup on an iPad and that worked. It will take a few minutes to scan your channels. We were able to get 38. You'll then see a message prompting you to personalize your sling guide if you'd like and a confirmation message that setup is complete. When you open the sling app on a phone or TV, you will see your local channels in your channel guide. You can click on any item in the guide to launch it. From the Sling app on a TV, you'll just open the app. Select Guide from the left menu. Along the top, you'll now see a new section called Locals. Clicking that will show you all of your local channels right in the Sling Guide. Press any title to watch it. If you connect an external hard drive, you can move forward in time in the guide and select a show you want to record and press the orange Record button. When you click DVR from the left menu, you'll now see another tab along the top labeled Air TV DVR Storage. This is where you can see how much of your external hard drive storage you've used. Within your recordings, you can see shows you've recorded on your cloud DVR and your Air TV device. Items recorded on your Air TV 2 will have a little label beneath them called Air TV. And that's it. It's pretty simple to set up and use. Yeah, and once you do, it adds convenience. Because wherever you are, you can launch the Sling app and get your locals right there with all your other channels. It takes the experience closer to what you might have been used to with cable. And while we don't like cable, we do like the convenience of getting all your channels in one place. And using an Air TV device with Sling gets you one step closer to that. How do you get your local channels? If you use an Air TV device with Sling, what do you think of it? Let us know in the comments below. And if you haven't already, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you can get all our latest news and reviews when they drop. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in our next video.